Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to do a review of this knife here. This is the Cold Steel Luzon. Check out those stats. All right. All right, so check this monster out. Let's see if we can open this. Kind of tightened it down. I'll show you why in a second. Oh, what's that thing? Oh, wow. That, that is a beast. Got this at Blade Show. The last day I was just kind of meandering around and happened to go back to the Cold Steel booth and grab this one. But let's get into it and I will talk to you about how awesome it is and how amazingly dangerous it is in its current configuration and then how I'm going to talk about changing it maybe if I can do it. All right, so what you're going to get here is one, two, three, four, five, six inches of HCR 13 MOV. Now, I know a lot of people don't like that steel, but you think about this. This isn't a knife for chopping down trees. This isn't a knife for doing a lot of heavy work with. This is, I got caught in the woods and I had to stab a bear. And you know what? Even if that MOV dulls itself on the bear hide, you're sitting there by the fire and telling the story of your bear attack while you sharpen this thing back to razor sharpness on the bear's femur. That's what this knife is. So it's not like, well, it's not XHP, so how could I possibly enjoy it? No, this knife is awesome. I'm going to tell you what, if you like the tie light or something like that, this is the knife for you. If you like any of those big, just anything humongous like this, it, this is awesome. So you got Luzon there, got a little fuller there, kind of like a buoy swedge here. You could sharpen that up, but you wouldn't want to. It's deadly enough as it is. Cold steel on that side. China and HCR 13 MOV. All right, so check that out. So you got the, let's see how many inches of this. I think it's like, well, it's right there. Seven and a half inches of glass filled nylon scales. And just gives you a ton of room. Whatever, however far back you want to reach on this thing, it's pretty awesome. And you got a glass filled nylon clip. And this, I don't, I don't know if a lot of people like this. It was on the Grivix. I believe that's what the name of that one was. Grivix, Grivix, Grix. This thing is really, really easy to use and is really, what's the word where you, it's easy to use? You know what I'm talking about? Easy to use. All right, my brain is fried. I need an energy drink. But it really goes in your pocket smoothly and comes out smoothly. It's pretty cool. This thing is semi waveable I've tried to catch it on my pocket a couple times and it usually ends up right about there. But I think if I loosen it up just a little bit, it would come out a little bit better. Check that out. Got the backspacer here. All right, so you have this nice, really strong lockup on this, really strong frame or liner lock here super super locked up no blade play no anything now the, we're gonna get into the problem here in a second but not yet not yet let's talk about the nice things first excellent lanyard space hole oval do some serious damage with some double lanyards in there very cool you have a really cool lock here so got regular lock and an extra lock to keep you from unlocking that and that's awesome very cool if you like a little extra sturdiness i know a lot of you guys don't but a lot of you folks wouldn't mind that doesn't lock this way i don't think no so it doesn't lock it shut but it does lock it open now these are really cool because you can use it as a flipper which i believe is supposed to be you can use this as a thumb stud, awesomely. There's no chance of using this as a thumb stud. Just hardly any. And of course you got the flipper from either side. The action on this is actually pretty good, but I was trying to do some stuff and I tightened the pivot right before the video, so I shouldn't have done that. All right, so overall, just a really cool, fun knife. You know, you can take it out and stab stuff or chop things with. Not like a tree or anything, but like if you want to cut some meat, pull it out at your local steakhouse, you will definitely win the knife war there. Let me fix the light there. What in the world is that light? It's like the light from heaven. 
in the world? Looks like I know where the Lost Ark is. It's right over there. Okay, so here's the issue I have with this knife. Here's the problem. Like I said, cool knife. You pick it up, you want to just do things with it, cut some meat, whatever. But this is a really dangerous part of this knife. And I'm going to show you what the problem is. I'm going to show you why the problem is. Now, can you see that? Can you see how that tip comes out? That tip is right there. And that is scratching the freak out of my finger. Can you see how I scratched it up nicely there? I think I even got a little poke there. But beyond that, what happened this morning was this almost became my Walmart EDC this morning. I wanted to do, you know, that click open with this monster. But what happened was I was taking out my pocket and this snagged my pocket. And this is what it looked like when I went down to reach for that thing when it wouldn't come out. This is just a bad accident waiting to happen for you. And it's super easy to fix, I think, especially for cold steel to fix. They need to fix this because this knife is really cool, but I can't let it go out. I actually bought this. I was gonna give this knife to a buddy and I just couldn't justify doing it, especially after this morning. So you see that the tip is just sitting there waiting to jab you. And then if it comes out like that in your pocket, you're just looking for a serious accident and it's not cool I, I really love everything about this knife except for that and here's the problem this needless thumb stud here nobody's going to use this thumb stud i mean really you have to dig in to get that so you're going to use it as a flipper but this thumb stud what happens is look it hits it hits the lock bar so it hits the liner lock there and you're, it doesn't close all the way because if this thing closed all the way, look, now it's closed, you can't get to that tip. That is, that's a different knife now. But right there, you're looking at some serious possibilities. You, very least, you're gonna get scratched nicely or it's gonna snag something, but the, be, the worst thing's gonna happen is you're gonna catch that pocket and on your pullout and you're gonna find out that this is what it looks like when it comes out in your hand. And that's not gonna be a good thing for anybody. So what I'm going to do to try and test my theory is I'm gonna snaggle tooth it. Now I know this is partially waveable right now, but this is the only thing I could think of trying to do to see if we could save this knife and maybe get a message to Cold Steel. They need to change out the thumb studs on this because that is that's gonna mess up everything for this knife. This knife is awesome. This knife is like 100% go get it because of the price, because of how cool it is. If you're into the humongous knives like I am, this is just a must buy until you realize it's gonna leave you in the emergency room if you, if you handle it wrong. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get this off. I'm gonna wrap this up in tape so it doesn't poke the heck out of me while I try to get the things off. And then we will go from there. But if it works, It'll be worth it. All right, so I got this thing wrapped up in tape, so I'm not gonna get, cause I have to get to the thumb stud with it partially open like this, so I can get my tools in there. And let's see if we can get this, this thing off of here and put on a snaggle tooth and save this from a life of knife obscurity because I've, I've talked to another buddy and he had the same issue. So it's not, it's definitely a problem with this knife. Now, let's just hope I can get this off. Now I'm being careful, so I'm not gonna do anything silly or stupid. And if I do, I might go viral and then that will be awesome. My channel will blow up. I'll be the guy who lost his ability to be ambidextrous. All right, let's see this. All right, it does not want to come off. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna go dremel the heck out of that thumb stud until it fits. So I'll be back. Okay, so now divert your eyes because it didn't not great at dremeling, but check that out. 
So all I did was dremel down the thumb stud a little, not a little bit, a lot of bit, to get it to where it doesn't jam up on that lock. And look, you're safe. So now you're safe. I don't know if any of y'all know cold steel people, but they need to fix this nonsense. This is a cool knife and having that thing jam into your finger is just not fun. But now it's fixed. Definitely gonna enjoy this a little bit more. I might see if my buddy still wants it in the currently modded position. But it's definitely a great knife if they would just put smaller thumb studs on that one side. And the thing is, without the thumb, the thumb stud is not necessary there because of how elevated this lock bar region is anyways. It's just kind of nonsensical to do that and to ruin the whole knife just for that little bit. So if you know Lynn Thompson, give him a call. Let's see who else is responsible for this. Nobody else is taking blame. All right, Lynn Thompson, give him a call. But overall, I don't know. I, I really can't recommend the knife unless you're willing to, to modify it like that. Now for what I paid for this, even with the modified thumb stud and a little bit of the scratches there, I love this knife. So I will start carrying this knife unless my buddy wants it, in which case he will start carrying it. But as far as recommending it, I don't want to recommend it and somebody get poke of the century on their hand and end up suffering because of it. So until they change it, I can't really say go buy this. It's an awesome knife. It's like 98% of the way there to being just a, almost a must buy. And but the, the problem is the lacking part of it, what it's lacking is such a big issue. It's just not an annoyance. It's not a clip. It's not, oh look, the scale kind of pokes me there. Or I got pinched here, like the pocket bush crafter, pocket bushman does some, sometimes that ram lock. No, this thing will cut you open if you're not careful and I would like to see cold steel fix it. But I don't know if they will. Maybe I'll give them a call, direct line to Mr. Thompson. We are pretty tight now since we did take a picture together. All right, check this out. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Or would you still be interested in this as far as if you had to know you had to modify it or is just you'd rather skip on to something else i think what you're going to find is people are going to skip on to something else it's it's not such a must buy that they're willing to modify it so if y'all are watching this mr cold steel i would change that up in a jiffy because man you're so close so close all right thank you for watching let me know what you think in the comments below let me know what you think with the modification. Let's just pretend this pokey thing didn't happen. What do you think of this knife just as just as a knife without the pokey thing? Would you, would you like something humongous like this? And I will talk to you later.